We are continuing to follow the details out of today's Texas Senate hearing on the tragedy in Uvalde. Today, the director of public safety testified in public while the Uvalde CISD police chief, who was the incident commander, explained what happened to lawmakers behind closed doors. KXAN investigator Matt Grant asks why, as many demand more transparency. Anything to say to the parents yep. who've called for your resignation? Thanks. Chief, McCraw said that you Anything? were wrong in the moment. The man everyone wants to hear from not wanting to be hurt. Uvalde ISD Police Chief Pete Arredondo escaping through this elevator following secret closed door testimony at a House hearing into law enforcement's response in Uvalde. Committee Chair Representative Dustin Burroughs spoke to reporters afterwards. We've just now begun to see some things, to talk about things, and I don't want to be more part of the problem by giving a real-time accounting until we can be accurate. I had challenged this chief to come testify in public as to what happened here. By contrast, the Senate's hearing was public. DPS Director Steve McCraw testifying openly about law enforcement's response, even giving a minute-by-minute -minute timeline of events, along with transcripts of police communications that day. So why was this hearing public, but Arredondo's testimony secret? Kelly Shannon with the Freedom of Information Foundation of Texas says Arredondo should have and could have testified in public, saying, Law enforcement can release information about investigations anytime they like and do if they have a motive to. All of this comes as the governor's office calls for transparency, promising records will be released, including the FBI and Texas Rangers report, saying, Governor Abbott has been adamant since day one that all information relating to the tragedy at Robb Elementary School be shared with the victims' families, the Uvalde community, and the entire state. Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. Transparency advocates are worried. Texas so-called dead suspect loophole, which KXAN has investigated for years, could be used to block records that could shed light on what happened. To try to get answers, KXAN has put in multiple public information requests with the Texas Department of Public Safety, Uvalde Police, and Uvalde ISD. And so far, we've received either denial letters, no responsive records, or challenges raised with the Attorney General.